Fellas, welcome to my JJD on draft analysis. I'm here with my resident nutcase, Pearson. Say hi to the people. It's me, Pearson. I'm the resident Umbreon stan, and uh, the one man who managed to convince John Jr. to confirm that Umbreon wasn't that bad. Hey, future me, put that clip up on the on the screen. Yo, is that Bradley's a man of his word. All right, Bradley. Umbreon is not that bad. I hope you're happy. Thank you so much. I you better put that clip on the screen. Before we get into it, I don't have a webcam and I don't have Photoshop, so I just put some funny images on the screen for you to look at. So, uh, you know, let's start with the first Pokemon, the Team Captain. You know, in this draft, I had the second pick overall. And you might be thinking, that's amazing. It was. We picked up Dragapult. Now, Dragapult is widely considered to be the best Pokemon in draft, right? It's like Dragapult or Iron Valley. Some would even say Urshifu, but they're wrong. It's probably one of the other two. As any rational second pick person, we traded it. We got Tornado Theory instead. Uh, you know, he, I, he was like the best thing left on the board and he paired well with my second round pick, which is something that I had already planned on drafting. And so I just, I, you know, he's got the momentum with the U-turn. He's got knockoff, he's got taunt, he's got nasty plot. I mean, you can run him specs, I guess. You can run assault vest. Tornado D, you know what This guy's spitting, right? True. Round two, oh, round two, you know, shout out to my boy Star, he's the one who got Dragapult. Round two, I picked up what Star wanted in round two, he wanted that Dragapult King Gambit. Who am I to tell him no, right? He's the GOAT, right? I picked him up King Gambit. And in return, we picked up Chi Yu. You know, I've been thinking about using this guy for a long time, he's been on the radar. Um, people say that he kind of sucks, but I think this hit's pretty unwarranted. You know, he's got like the specs and the scarf sets, he's got Nasty Plot, he's got Taunt in case I want to use some support set, he's got some screens on him. Chi Yu, am I right? Zhao Zhao Zhang Wu, Xin Zai Wu. Going into round three, I had two special attackers on my team, and I'm thinking I need a physical breaker, and I need some speed control on my team. And we definitely picked up a good physical Pokemon in the fan favorite Lenad, Lenad Therian. Um, everybody loves Lenad. I mean, he gets rocks. He's a he's a good choice scarfer for some good speed control. He gets things like taunt. He gets gravity. If I'm feeling cheeky, he gets smackdown for all the flying types. The Landalorian is a must-have pick, in my opinion. This guy knows what he's talking about. <laughs> I do. Next up, I'm thinking, you know what, let's pair another physical attacker. And I was looking at the Pokemon left on the board. And this guy, I saw this guy still up. And I was like, dude, this guy is a steal round four, right? We picked up Big Metagross. Now, this guy also gets rocks. Um, but the big thing that I'm excited about is a lot of Pokemon lost a lot of their speed boosting. This guy actually kept agility. Um, and you know, he's a strong physical attacker, he can make use of that agility, he's got a good speed stat, he's got priority of bullet punch, uh, he's a bulky guy, he really just tears holes into other teams. He's, he's a just, dapper he... looking fella is what he is. That's what I'm saying, I mean look, look at him. him, he's got a little top hat on. It's nazi. I love it. Next up, I was thinking, alright, we got the steel type, let me pair it with a good dragon type, and going into round 5, I was astounded that this guy was not picked up by someone else right we got open terra walking wake now in this league the terra rules are a little funky it's like you can have open terra but right before the game you have to tell your opponent what your terra type is um so you know that gives this pokemon a lot of utility um i mean this guy's just broken he could do the flip turn knock off assault vest set with like a defensive terra or i can bring like choice specs in the sun which you'll see later with like a like a terra water or a terra dragon drop a draco on him and you know he, he can also do some other things he gets dragon dance he gets aqua jet for priority uh if i need to face someone out he gets roar dragon tail uh, he's he's here to be the 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 heavy hitter of the team he's here to walk that's what he does he do be walking he's walking and he's talking he's walking and he's talking that is true speaking of talking next pokemon we got is decidueye now I kind of just needed a defog at this point, and I needed like a, just a decent defensive Pokemon. And this guy kind of filled both of them. At this point, I'm also trying to budget a little bit. Cause my top five Pokemon are all pretty expensive, especially that Walking Wake pick. Uh, and you know, this guy fit all the bills. He gets U-turn. Uh, he's a spin blocker in case I get my rocks up and I need to need him to stay up. Uh, he gets Trailblaze. You know, he's got some priority in Shadow Sneak if I want to win some Sucker Punch mind games. He's got knockoff. Uh, shout out Pearson for the art. Actually, he actually made this, and it looks immaculate. Yeah. Um, commissions are open. Hit me up. You know, <laughs> line art starts at forty dollars, and we work up from there. Just get in contact. 
going to the next round, you know, I had my eyes on a couple things. At this point, I, I needed to complete the, the Steel Dragon Fairy combo. And I also wanted, you know, just a good defensive Pokemon. And I found the perfect match for me in Weezing Galar, right? I have the option to run him Grounded Poison. He's got the Defog in case I need to get, you know, get rid of some hazards. Uh, he's got the will -O he's got the Toxic Spikes. Uh, he's got Pain Split if I'm trying to get some recovery. You know what I'm saying? He's a pretty dapper looking fellow, right? Look at this guy. I mean, this guy's got style unbeknownst to the common public. Next round, I was thinking, you know what? It would be nice to have a Sun option. And unfortunately, at this point, Torkoal was taken. So we got the next best thing. We got Ninetales. Uh, I mean, he gets Baton Pass, gets Healing Wish. I'm going to be honest, this guy's just here to set up the Sun. I mean, the Walking Wake with a Sun option is like Walking Wake squared. You know what I'm saying? That guy is insane. Isn't this that guy from Naruto? I, I think, I don't know, I never watched it. Uh, I, I, put in the comments, the is this guy from something. Naruto or something? Put in the comments. Speaking of the comments, let's get like 17 likes on this video. Wouldn't that be sick? If You're we right. get 17 likes on this video, I give one free commission to whoever gave one of those likes. Random choice. Hey, he's a pretty good artist. This is, this is a deal you don't want to miss out on. Going into the next round, I'm thinking, I, I still got five Terra Points left. And it's a pretty, pretty scarce area to be in, let me tell you. But I think I picked up something that's alright. We got Hisuian Avalug. Now, this guy does one thing, and he's here to stop physical breakers in their tracks. He's got, you know, a huge physical defense stat. He's got the body press. If his physical defense wasn't enough, I think this guy gets iron defense. Dude, this guy is insane when it comes to physical defense. Uh, he's a rapid spinner, in case I need to spin with him. And uh, this is here for the Roaring Moon matchup, all right? Whoever has Roaring Moon, you better be ready to see this guy on the field, all right? Call him Table Lug. He's about to hold that thing up. Dude, this guy's straight from Ikea. I'm telling you. Like, if Hisui had Ikea, this guy is their number one product. I'm telling you. Put them together, you win. That's what I'm saying. Speaking of putting it together, last Pokemon, I think, rounds out the team pretty well. We got Spidops. Now, this guy... He's really just here to be a hazard setter. He's got the spikes, he's got the toxic spikes, uh, and most importantly, he's got the sticky webs. Uh, forcing my opponent to bring to prep for webs, it's gonna be detrimental. They're gonna lose at least one move slot on their Pokemon or be forced to run boots, which on something like a Paradox Pokemon with run booster energy could be pretty bad for him. Um, you know, he's Pearson's favorite Pokemon. He loves this guy, and he's definitely not on the team because he caught me lacking. Ops did not catch me lacking on this guy. Hey. Ops on the hood, yurt. Shout out, baby. <laughs> hey, uh, future me here. Uh, I totally forgot to plug the other coaches. So down in the description, don't forget to check out the other coaches. And big shout out to John Jr. for hosting the league. Okay, we're, we're, we're recording now for real. For real, for real? For, on John? On John, dude. Okay, I gotta lock in. I gotta, lo I gotta lock in. <laughs> 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 So Fellas, welcome to my- Are you talking during my intro, bro? I didn't mean to, I'm sorry. Ah! <laughs> Before we get into it, I don't have a webcam and I don't have Photoshop because that costs money that I don't got. Try that again. Walker's <laughs> 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 like, that I don't got. <laughs> run the back, run the back. <laughs> One more game. Let me drive the boat. <laughs> Let me drive the boat. <laughs> Gee, you am I right? <laughs> He's supposed to say the line. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. It's okay. It's a and I was like, you know what? We're gonna pick up a fan favorite. We're gonna pick up Lenad, big Lenad T. <laughs> I forgot about that image. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> okay. Okay. Why are you walking away? Yes. From me? Yes. Uh, Mom, say hello to the oh. JJDL people. Hi, JJDL people. Shout out my mom. Hello. My mom's the goat. Hello. This guy does one thing, and he's here to just eat physical walls. Phys eat physical walls? <laughs> Scrumptious drywall. <laughs> <laughs> this <my> guy... <laughs> uh... We just record the outro, right? Outro? Hey, to be honest, I don't even do outros. I just stop talking and the video ends. Future me, end the video right there.